Hi everyone, and welcome back to Game Maker Casts. It's Mickey again, and in this little video tutorial, I want to allow our platform engine, or specifically our player, I want to give them the ability to double jump. So that would mean adding an extra jump once we're in the air. Now, what I want to do with the system is I don't want to make it only double jumping. I want to give that option to you so you can have the player either jump only once, twice, or three times. Just basically make it very customizable. An example could be down the road we collect an object and that allows our player uh, the double jump ability or to jump one more time than normal. Now, what we need to do first is go into our room and set up a platform for our player to jump on. I'll just grab our block and I'll place it here at the top and just drag that out. The next thing I want to do is go over to our player and in the create event, I want to make sure we're there and at the bottom, we need to add a couple new variables. The first variable is going to be how many times we can jump. So we can say jump max equals two. And the next variable we need to use is what, or sorry, how many jumps have we already used? So we can say jump current, and we want to just set that to jump max first. Now, this is the variable that we're going to be able to change to give our player either one jump, two, or ten. Just keep that in mind. We'll switch over to the step event, and we'll scroll down till we have our vertical movement. Now, right here where we have this place meeting, we know that we are on the ground. And right here, we're checking to see if we can allow our player to jump. And this is where we're going to be adding some code in here. We'll keep it simple, so we'll keep both if statements instead of just combining them into one. We'll say if the jump underscore current is bigger than zero, then we will allow our player to jump. Once we have allowed our player to jump, we need to take one of the jumps away. So this will handle the jumping on the ground. The only thing we need to do is reset how many jumps we currently have once we hit the ground. We know that we've set our vertical speed to zero up here, so we know that we're on the ground. So this is the perfect spot to say jump current equals jump underscore max. So once we've used up all of our jumps and we hit the ground, right underneath we're going to assign the number of jumps that we currently can use to our number of jumps that we have. Now we know that this if statement right here handles the collision for whether or not we're on the ground. Well, we want to make sure that we could say where we are in the air, in the air. And in here is where we want to check to see if the player has pressed the jump key once again. So we can easily take this code right here, copy it, and just paste it in. And we could say if the keyboard has been pressed for the jump key and we currently have a jump available, then we can allow our player to go once again neg negatively into the jump force and then take away a jump. So if we hit run and we let our engine load up here, we can still go left and right. I can still jump off the ground and jump onto this platform. But now I should be able to make that platform. Let's try here. And you can see pretty much with ease, I'm able to make that. And I'm only allowed two jumps. Now, if we come back down here and we go to the create event, if we change this to something like 10, it's quite a high number of jumps but you should see that we can jump in the air for quite a while. Okay, so that system is pretty customizable. I'm just gonna reset mine back to two. And some of the other things that you might wanna do is, we know that we're in the air here. So instead of allowing our player to use the full jump force, you know what, why don't we just half that? So once we try this, you'll notice that our player can't jump super high, but we still get that double jump. I'm not sure if I can make this platform. Yeah, I can't make it with the haft. So we'd have to put that down a little bit. But for now, I'll just use jump force. Now the other thing that you might notice is we kind of have some duplicate code here and right here. So this is a good opportunity for a script. Let's go ahead and let's create a new script. We'll call it SCR and we'll say player jump. And what we want to do is let's just take this code here. We'll copy it and let's paste it in. So this script will be checking the keyboard for a jump key. 
if our current jump is bigger than zero, then we allow the player to jump, and then we take away one of our jumps itself. So in here, what we could do, actually, let's take away the input. We don't want to be checking input in here. So let's remove that and refix it. So instead of doing all of this, what we'll say is SCR player jump. And once again, up here, we'll just call the player jump. I think that's it. So if we hit F5, we should be able to play this again. And I can jump in the air and I can jump twice. That's what we set it to. And I can easily make that gap. All right. Now, the only problem that happens here is you can see that if we go to fall, we can then jump in mid air. Now, that's kind of a thing if because of our code, the way that we have it set up is right here. We are in the air and we're looking for the jump itself. So a quick and easy fix is we could say jump initial equals false. And in here in our step event, what we could say is if the keyboard has been pressed and, and if jump initial equals true, then we want to do the jump. Now we, because the way that the language works, we could just say if jump initial equals true, then allow the jump. So in here, what we want to do is reset jump initial to true. And once we're on the ground, we want to set jump initial to false. So if we run this game one more time, you should see that I can jump twice in the air. However, if I come up here and I don't jump off this platform, I can't jump until I hit the floor. So that issue has been fixed. And it may actually not even be an issue depending on how you want your game structured. All right. Well, I think we've done a pretty good job at our double jumping and making it customizable for however many number of jumps that we use. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, or you can support me on Patreon. Thanks again.